Anyway, anyway well, good we, evening, everyone. Hello. Um, thanks for joining tonight. We've got a special guest instructor, Shian Mac Robertson. So please, everyone, enjoy the session. Over to you, Shian. Oh, oh. Well, here I am. Uh, I can't see you, and uh, hopefully, you can see me. Um, first of all, uh, let me introduce myself. Um, my name is Mac Robertson. I was born in Leicester, did most of my dojo in uh, my Optima Showdown in Leicester. And then I moved to Barrison Edmonds, where, I, where this is now. Uh, and until a week ago, uh, I was a long time member from day one uh, with the IKO, uh, first under Sosai and then under Kancho uh, Matsui. Uh, I now belong to the organization of So Kyokushin under Daigo Oshi. And Shidaigo Oshi, uh, who was an Uchi Deshi of Sosai. So um, it's been a heart wrench, but that's where I am now. Uh, I'm a Rokyu Dan, six Dan. I took my six Dan under Kancho Matsui in um, Romania uh, in 2009, 2010. So I've been around the block a few times uh, and I've seen a few changes. But the thing that never changes and shouldn't ever change is your your core, your heart, your spirit of training. And as long as you keep your spirit of training, then that has been uh, the most important thing in my entire, my, virtually my entire life. But you can't just train like a lunatic. You have to train hard. You have to train correctly um, it's no good just uh, doing anything that is near to what you're supposed to be doing it has to be what you're supposed to be doing so let me just start my timer so i know what i'm doing um so that's me uh and i'm very grateful for tom for uh, asking me to do this uh and uh, we'll we'll get underway if you ever have any questions then what you want especially in the room what you want is a little notepad next to you. So you can write the question down. And then later, you can ask Tom, and then Tom will ask me, uh, and hopefully we'll get you an answer. But unfortunately, because I can't see you face to face, uh, I can't see hands going up, and I can't see people uh, wondering what they're doing. So I'll try to be uh, as descriptive as possible. And it's also a case of uh, mate or gecko. Uh, learn by watching. So. Some of the stuff I hopefully won't be beyond you. Uh, it's all comparatively simple. But then most karate is pretty simple. Uh, we make it complicated by trying to make it something different. If somebody goes to uh, punch you in the face, then your, your hands come up. And, this is and if something's coming uh, from below, you try to knock it out of the way. And this is get umbra. So it's a natural, uh, most of you, you just have to natural. Don't make it different to the naturalness. Right, so we're going to start off. Uh, we're just going to uh, warm the upper body up. We won't be doing a lot of things. We'll be doing some foot movement and some footwork later. But we we'll want to go through some uh, wrist movements and some uh, warm up movements. First thing, a fist. Uh, it's not just made of fingers, palm of your hand, back of your hand, uh, middle forearm. There are very few muscles uh, in your fingers. They're in your forearm. So your forearm is what needs to be uh, worked to make for a strong grip. So uh, making sure when you make a fist, don't just slam the fingers shut. Think of little finger, ring finger, middle finger, first finger thumb. So they come in one at a time. So the hole is on the outside. If you just slam the hand shut, there's nine times out of 10 a hole on the inside. You don't want the hole on the inside, you want your fingers closed. Later on, these become um, striking techniques. So you would start like with looky tape and then close just the fingers. This is now a uh, hirake. Then you close them again. 
This is real king. Put your thumb on the top, is it Oya Yubi king? Clamp it down to the top, then it becomes a say king. It's also Ura, reverse. Ura, reverse. Ura king, reverse knuckle. Say king, full twist, Ura king. So the wrist needs to be mobile, but also at times solid. So what you're gonna do first of all, is just grip the right hand. Now when you make these big circles, this is for flexibility in the wrist. And then come back the other way. And then roll again. Back the other way. Shake it nice and loose. Relax the fingers. Shake the fingers nice and loose. Now, hold the other hand. Just make the big circles. One, two, three, four, five. The other way. One, two, three, four, five. Shake it nice and loose. Gasho. Gasho means to bow. And this is the hand position here, to bow. But drop the shoulders, drop the elbows, and then push the palms of your hands together, not just a bit of the palms of the hands, try and push the palms down. And this again, we'll work the backs of the wrists. Then bring them forwards, push the elbows forwards, and bring the hands back. And then you go down. Bring the hands up, push the elbows, push the elbows down. Lift the hands nice and tight. Don't let the fingers come away from the body. Keep the fingers next to the body. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's one, one, two, three. Now imagine you've got a ball in the middle of your fingers. Your fingerprints, not your, uh, not your fingerprints, your finger ends need to be together. Put them above your head, drop your shoulders, push the hands towards each other, squeeze the hands, drop the shoulders, push the feet, don't let the fingers straighten. And shut the hands nice and loose. Fingers need strengthening. Wrist knee strengthening. Now this maneuver here, some of you may have come across this, but this is not only a break, this is also a break hold and a lock. Somebody grabs your wrist. We'll talk about how they grab your wrist another day. Uh, nobody walks up to grab your wrist. But you may be in close quarters and then they grab your hand, trying to pull you about. So it comes from a close quarter work, grabs, the person is close to you. When somebody grabs you, you keep the grab on. Go over the top of the hand and then pull down. Conversely, they grab you, you come out this way, you come the other way. And this is sometimes a, a break hold, sometimes a lock. If you want it to break hold, then you just put your hand on, turn your hand over. On the other way. You don't have to always knock a hold on. The thing being, if somebody grabs you, they've taken away 25% of their major arsenal. And in most cases, 50% of their major arsenal because they can't use their legs very well. So don't always worry about grabbing it and trying to knock it off. Leave it on. Then if somebody grabs you with their right hand onto your left hand, all you need to do is push your hand to the side. Now there's a whack and go big gap down the middle. So rather than spend time trying to break the hole, leave it on. Bang! Move their hand out of the way. And so sometimes a grab needs to be broken, sometimes a grab doesn't need to be broken. But even simple exercises like this have a much more important use than uh, just your wrist. Most things you do are involved uh, in self defense and committee. Most of the things we do. So uh, always bear, it, bear that in mind. Right, so uh, the technique, mawashuke, uh, stonwashuke, where you're going to here. A lot of people go here, and this is too low. They need to be both high. Uh, so what I want you to do is drop your hands in front, 
just check you've got room above your head and there's no lights like I've just done. So all you're going to do is swing both hands back. Keep your attention to the front. Bring them up at the back, over to the front. So you're just making two big arm circles. One, two, three. Now, don't keep stiff. Move. Let your hips work as well as your shoulders. Now, from there, you're going to step back with the left leg. As you step back with the left leg, you come on the other side. Round, round, round. Now step forwards with the left leg. As you step forwards, change arms. Step back with the left leg. Change arms. Three. One, two, three. Step. One, two, three. Back. One, two, three. Step. One, two, and three. Let the arms relax and swing. See, they move. Doesn't mean to say they're under tension. Tension, a lot of the time, slows people down. Doesn't speed them up. And tension is not power. Having tight muscles at the wrong time is not power. So make sure that you move. Comparatively, relax is the wrong word, but firm. When you see a 100 meter sprinter in the blocks and the guy goes, set, and they come up, most people think they're under tension. They haven't. They're not under tension. They've just got great muscle definition. They're not tense at all. And then when somebody loses and they're going down the, front, going down the, the track, you see them in slow mo, their mouth is bouncing, arms are coming up. And they say, oh, he lost. Because he tightened up. Don't tighten up. You only... I think forwards. And backwards. And now, relaxed, push them both forwards. And now push them both backwards. And you see, you're not twisting, you're just moving the shoulders forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. See how much the shoulders actually move. The shoulders move a lot. So very rarely do you want them set in the middle and rocked because that just makes you move like a robot. You need to be able to move. And when you can move, you move your mass. When you move your mass fast, you get more power. Mass times speed equals power. So why do some people get knocked down when they fight? Why come some people got stronger punches than others when it looks exactly the same? Looks the same. It isn't the same. Because some people will go to their Fishtaski and others will go to their Fishtaski. And believe me, that's a monster difference. And when you go to their Fishtaski, that's even more. And my feet are parallel. So now, if I have a foot forwards, I want to go to here. I want to go to here. I don't want to go to here. I need all of it. Bam! Bam! So when you when we get going, uh, remember to move as much of your frame as possible. Right, so we're getting to a few hand techniques. Now, so I was asked not long before he died, what was his greatest achievement? And he said to have warring countries compete against each other. And I actually saw a Chechen and a Russian tank guy in the final of a tournament. The two countries were at war. 
And when they go arm in arm with both legs wrapped around them, this is what Kyokushin can do. So then he was asked, what's his greatest regret? Now, those that have read anything about Sosa, I know they punch balls and massive amounts of tiles. He said he was unhappy with his fist. So if Sosa can be unhappy with his fist for most of his life, don't ever feel that you can't do something. Your side kicks are not so good. Your back kicks are not so good. Your balance is not so good. Improve it. Try and keep on improving it. Don't just put it in a cupboard and say, one day it might get better. You have to make it better. And the second thing is chemo, is focus. You must know what you're hitting, where you're hitting, and what you're hitting with. Not just a fist. Second, two knuckles, bottom rib. Boom. Not just stick a fist out and hopefully it collects. That's like uh, getting a dartboard on the wall and just throwing the darts at it anyhow, how, hoping one day to get 180. Now you'll keep getting near the board, but you won't be accurate until you practice to be accurate. And you do the same thing with chemo. You must be able to turn your knuckles on. Turn the back wrist on, turn the elbow on, turn the back fist on, turn the forearm on. Bang, 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 bang. And the way I, I like to describe it, it's like having a light shining out your knuckles. Or Tetsuya Uchi, or Koken Uchi, or Kota Uchi, or Oya Yubiken. You shine a light out of it. And this brings it to your attention better. So we're going to get on there with a few punches. So we're going to work from Sanshin Dachi to start with. We haven't got time to go into too much about Sanshin, but understand that it's a, an important part of your training that you don't ignore. You must always try to improve your Sanshin Dachi because it's good for your legs. Good for your core, it's good for your posture, and it's good for your muscular structure. It's good for loads of stuff. So make sure that you try to uh, make sure it works. Right, so Miggy Sanction Dutch. You bring the right leg forward, you can either key eye, you can book it, it's up to you, I can't hear. Um, I'll go into it quietly. Now, as you go, if your right leg moves, your right hand goes on the inside. So that when you come through, your right hand is on the outside. And one. So, Miggy Sanction Dutch. Oi. Come with that. And in. So, focus, Chudan. Right arm back. Come with that. What I want you to do 10 punches. So as you punch, the first nine punches, just stick your arms out, keep in count with me. So it's one, two, three, four, five. From six, I want you to think of the elbow coming backwards. Six, elbow, seven, elbow. Eight, elbow, nine. Now, on the tenth one, this elbow is going back, and as it locks into position, the twist on the other hand, as you rotate the hand, or you to tighten everything you can possibly tighten at one go. If you've got the idea, don't worry, you'll get a bit of practice. Let's go. I had you. First eight, first four are normal. Next four, you're thinking of the elbow. Nine and 10, you think about tightening everything up. So let's go. One, just put your arm out. Two, three, four, elbow, five, six, seven, Eight. Now the twist. Nine, 
Ten. Undo the fist. Relax most of your body. As you rotate the fist, I want you to twist and tighten everything you can possibly tighten, even the hair in your ears if you can. So you're going to go from there, as you rotate over, bam, it tightens and then turns off again. A bit like turning the light off and on. Off and on. So on and off. Not on and stay there. On and off. Right, so let's go again then, ready? The last three of the big tights. All of them now you're thinking of the elbow coming back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now five ordinary, five with a twist. Don't forget the elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I hope you're on a carpet and you can feel yourself gripping the carpet with your toes on that rotation. So now we do the first four, thinking of getting the elbow back. The next six, twisting, locking. Relaxing. Relax is not a good word, but not so good, not so tight. So let's go. Four, six. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight punches of twist. First two, pull the elbow back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now all the ten with the twist, with the elbow. Last one, kiai. Don't ever say the word kiai, and don't ever use. Us. Let a noise come out that is all yours. Let me upstairs. Let me out in the garden. On the tenth one, Jukai. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, hold it. Hey, that's me. Turn to the side. Check your legs nice and loose. Now, only a few punches, but I'm pretty sure you can feel your legs, you can feel your toes. This is using more muscle for more power. So, make sure that when you punch, you extend. So from Shizen Tai, from through the latch, put your arms out. I'm just going to turn to the side. Now, both shoulders back. Now, just extend your left shoulder. Don't pull the right one back. Just extend your left shoulder. Pull it back. Extend your right shoulder. And pull it back. Now, if you're not using the shoulder, you're losing that much penetration. Nobody's ribs give that much. So don't negate your shoulders. But when you punch, don't have your shoulder back there somewhere. Here. This is still squared shouldered. You've not turned. You just used the shoulder. The shoulder. So when you pull this one back, Pull the shoulder back, don't turn the body, but extend the front one. So just put your right arm out, pull your left arm back, pull your left shoulder back. Extend your right shoulder. 
do five punches. I want you to concentrate on using your shoulder. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Now five, as fast as you can. On Hajime, feel the whole body going. One, two, three, four, five. Ready? Three. One, two, three, four, five. Now, did you just go and put five arms out? Or did you move your body? Move more body. Again, ready? Go on. Three. More body. Let's go, ready? Right. Hold your posture. And again, ready? Right. Move your shoulders, move your body. Two more sets. Ready? Right. One, two, three, four, five. More body, as much as you can. Last set. Ki, last punch. Let's go, ready? Three. Now, hey, hold it. Who can't feel their legs? And all you were doing was punch it. But you end up using your legs to reinforce your punches. Now, if you have a stance, which is what you come naturally into, and use your upper body not so good. Sometimes you move your upper body and not have the stance so good. So your belt, it ties the bottom to the top. It tied together here. So when you move, whole body, whole frame, not just your arms, not just your arm, whole frame. Hey, all right, hey, you have to just stand nice and loose. Uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with uh, Enkai. Enkai means you're changing direction. So what I want to do is without going into all the covers, is just to change. So, I Zenko Sudach. Right leg back, just the stance. Don't bother with the arms. Hey, come on, up. One. Now, let me front knee do this. Look at the angle of the knee to where my foot is. It doesn't seem too bad. It's not unpainful until I try and keep that knee there when I stand up. This is not a good position to be in. My knees are over my feet. So even though I throw one back, I still need my knee over my foot. Don't let it collapse in. This is not good for your knees. It's not good for your IT band. It's not good for a lot of stuff. So push it out. Now, first of all, uh, just focus uh, reverse spine student gap and spin. So come up onto the balls of the feet. Look over your back shoulder. And roughly as far as you can see is where the punch ends up. Then you look over your shoulder, roughly where you can see, which will be back to the front, then the punch comes around. But I'm gonna do it slightly on the angle so you can see more. See how my weight is slightly geared to my front foot. When I rotate, don't have your weight geared to your back foot. Again, towards your front foot. So when I rotate, upper body moves, upper body moves. So first of all, just twist, no arms, just twist, round. Project your chest forwards on the angle. Now you can twist to the front. Project your chest 
to the front. Don't sit, project. Like somebody's gonna come up and push you over. You won't give them the start this gives them. Push it. Twist, push. Twist, push. Twist, push. One more time. Twist, push. And this push is the reverse punch. So, uh, get your left leg forwards, right arm out. We will do the cover, it's easier. Got the front hand down, back of your hand to the inside of the thigh. Imagine somebody's grabbed hold of your shoulder with their left hand. You break. Now you've moved the left hand out of the way and their boat is here. The face is there. Twist, take your body over as you pull the arm back. Go. Now somebody grabs this shoulder, drop the hand, come over the top, hook. You can just see now my half of oh, the side of my body. So now when I turn around, ah, woof, all of this came around. One. Drop the hand. So you punch, you grab, so we say, Punch, drop the hand. We do it on one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go, ready? So one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now in one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, hold it. So, Enkai allows you to change direction. It looks, Zenko Sedanshi, Imagine you're in a situation, you haven't got room to move. You <laughs> left foot forwards, and there's a couple of them trying to move you about. So you're here. You can't turn and change legs. Well, you twist, you just twist. You twist, you twist, you twist. You twist. One, two, three, four. This is the use of Enkai. Rotation. You can do it in most stances. Or cut to dash. Throw the weight onto the front foot and turn. Throw the weight and turn. So, uh, some of you to think about, uh, some of you to practice. So, Enkai, body movement. So, rocking techniques. We spoke earlier um, about naturalness. So, Hidari Sanchindach. Left leg. Left leg goes forwards. Left hand comes underneath. So, it comes up on the outside. So, Hidari Sanchindach. Oi. Come on, Left arm up, upper block, Jared and look it. Now make sure you're lifting and pushing forwards. So anything that comes over will tend to drift downwards, not across, downwards and out this side. So it means this elbow needs to be just outside your body. So it's inside your head. Joe down look it. So when you change arms, the same. Now you have to turn. So people say you know, square punches, off turn blocks. Square punches, off turn blocks. Do you know why? If you understand here, 
Hold your posture. If you stand here and somebody attack you, you don't go back like that. You take one foot back. So this is a natural thing. You take one foot back and when you retaliate, bang! Then you come in square. So it's not unnatural. Don't make it unnatural to yourself. So you've got your right arm up now. So when you change arms, I'll play it to you. Knee. Elbow. Just outside the ribs. Sun. Chi. Go. Get up. We spoke earlier, put your arm up. We spoke before about chemo. On contact, you roll the fist over. Tighten all the body up. When you come for Joe to look it, you collect the punch. And on contact, you roll the forearm. As you roll the forearm, you tighten everything, hair in your ears, the lock. So put your left arm up. Etch. So now, slowly, right, change, etch, down, round, collect, lift and push forwards, rotate the forearm. Down, round, collect, rotate the forearm. Down, rotate the forearm. Down, rotate the forearm on collection of the technique. Ach. Knee. Sun. Chi. So now I want you to do 10 like we did originally. Like we did in the punches. Think of the twist. Think of the twist. First five, decent pace. Last five, whole body, shoulder, rotation. Let's go, on the count. First five, five, so, etch, knee, sun, she, go. Now the rotation and the twist and the power of the drive. Broken, she, she, hunch, ku, ju. So, is your arms up? See where your elbow is. Just drop your elbow straight down, bend the arm a little, a little more, you have to shoot on the shoe kit. Back arm comes around and across. See where the elbow is? Line of the elbow, leave the elbow where it is, and come up for Joe Danuki. Come down for a chicky. A chicky's not here or there. That would make Joe Danuki out there somewhere, or here, Joe Danuki here. Same. Side of the body. So, Chudan Uchuke. Jukai. Smooth. Uch. Knee. Sun. Two arms work together. Chi. Go. Bro, short way in, long way out. Chi Chi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Where the elbow is? Where do you think I'm going to go next if I don't move my elbow? I've dropped my elbow to here for Chudanuchuke. I can't drop it anymore as it falls off my shoulder. If I can drop the hand. This is get umbrai. So slowly get umbrai. Ach. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. <coughs> Lift the arm up to Uchiuke. Lift the arm up to Joe Danuke. Drop it down to Uchiuke. Down to get umbrai. One get umbrai. Eight. Lift it up to Uchuke. Lift it up to Joe Danuke. Uchuke. Get umbrai. First block. Joe Danuke. Back arm. Etch. 
same arm. Uchiuke. Nip. Same arm. Get under eye. Run. Back arm. Joe down uke. Eiji. Uchiuke. Nip. Get under eye. Sun. One, two, three. Ech, knee, sun. Ech, knee, sun. Ech, knee, sun. Little count faster. Ech, knee, sun. Ech, knee, sun. A little faster. Ech, me, sun. Ech, me, sun. And now, so fast, you ain't got time to count. Ech, me, sun. Sheep. Me, hold it. There you are, Shake your shoulders nice and loose. So, the only reason I didn't I miss Sotoki out was just to understand elbow just past the body. Just past the body. Not out there somewhere. Not in there somewhere. Just past the body. And oh, look how natural is that? Elbow, just past the body. Elbow, not out there, not in here. Just past the body. Just outside of the body. So, in making the block. I'm gonna be, for now, your uki, your one that's gonna get hurt. But I'm a long way away, so you can't hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna punch Joe down ski. And I want you to block Joe down uki just the once. Leave your arm up there. So, I'm the big gorilla with size 19 feet, studied gloves. I'm going to come in, bosh, punch you in the face. I want you to lift, drive the Joe Danuki up. And I will move my arm accordingly. So are you ready? Oh, and back. You stay where you are, change arms. You're going to have a block with the other arm. You're in Sanshin, I'm not. Watch. I'm gonna punch with this arm, you're gonna block Joe and hook it. Knee. Whoa. Sun. Whoa. She. Whoa. Go. Whoa. Rock. Hey, no rip. So, when you block, you create something. If you can't play chess, learn it. It's excellent. It's not boring by a long way. It's fighting without actually hitting people. Good fun. Uh, well, hitting people is even more fun. But chess leads you to strategy. What is strategy? Strategy is taking advantage of your opponent's weakness. So, when I, just watch, when I come in to punch you here, and you block it, Joe and Lucky, this is what you're going to create. Now, do you kick him in the leg? Do 
you punch him in the ribs? Do you low kick him on the inside? Do you push his ashibarai and sweep him to one side? The choice is yours. And that's only one, two, three, four things. Watch. What's happening here? Bang, up. One, two, three, four. But you've also missed a very valuable weight change on my part. I've come into here, now you kick my leg away. Don't wait for me to come to here and block the punch. Stop the punch by tapping this leg. Your front leg here, Ashibarai. For those who know Gexai Dai, Ashibarai. So, when you block, you create this stuff. Learn to take advantage of this creation. And that's just an immediate percussion strike. You've lifted my arm up, and so, in effect, I'm here. I've lifted the arm up. Now I come in, big jati jodan, wrap around the arm, step forwards and down. So now I've locked his arm up. He's had an elbow in the face, and he's falling backwards on an angle. I can choose to either keep him up or let him go and push him down, flat on his back. So I block leads to an opportunity to retaliate. Shudan Uchiuke. One. So, stay in your Shizen tie. Point to block, Shudan Uchiuke. With your right arm. So I'm coming into here, is a hook punch. You wouldn't block a straight punch with Shudan Uchiuke. Absolutely waste of time. Unless you want to scoop it. And that really takes too long. If you scoop it, then you'd be carried on anyway. But it's normally against a hook punch. So I can see your forearm <coughs> coming out to stop my forearm. So it's up here. Boom. So now you're in this position, ready to send that out. I'm here. I'm already in position to be hit. I've had my arms stopped, leg, 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 body, head, this side, obviously not this side, this side, and if his hand is too close to his face, smack him on the forearm. Don't try and hit him on the hand. Smack him on the forearm, he'll punch himself in the mouth. Even more fun. Boom. So, there's the hook punch. What? You created with the tuna and the So now I'm going to step in and hook. Boom. And again, you want to be thinking about taking the foot as it lands. If not, boom. Hook it, push him backwards. So, hey, hold it. So think about not only when you block, you're defending yourself, but what are you creating? You're creating an opportunity that if you miss, you won't probably get a second chance. It's a bit like life in general. If you don't take the opportunity, the odds are it won't come again. So make sure you know what you're creating. And when you create it, take advantage of it. And blocks create a strategic advantage for the blocker. Make sure you use it. And by exactly the same token, when you punch, no. Sotsuki. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Boom. Sotsuki with Gyaku. Ah, oh, thank you very much. No, you're going to knock the arm to one side to take opportunity of the creation of the gap that you've made by blocking. So, what we're gonna do now, uh, for a couple of minutes, before we move on. Yeah, 
before we move on. Uh, block, simple block point retaliations. But again, use your frame. Two waiters, for some of the juniors, you won't, maybe won't get this, some of the older guys will. Two waiters in a restaurant, double swing doors. They go in, got a tray of goodies, open the door. Other one comes out, not a problem. They both hit the door at the same time. Each one will accuse the other one of barging through. When all he's done is use his weight and his momentum to open the door at no thought of stopping. No thought of stopping. When you fight, when you hit, there should be no thought of stopping. If you think of stopping, you'll make mistakes. How many times have you walked down the stairs and tried to take a stair that wasn't there? Boom! And you think you've stammed on the floor. No, you just tried to put your foot another 12 inches down through the floor. You didn't stamp down the stairs, but this, you had no thought of stopping. And this is how you must feel when you fight and when you punch, and when you block. There is no thought of stopping. None at all. So now we're going to put the blocks together. Uh, if some of the younger members get a bit lost, uh, please just have a go. And then when it gets a little bit more complicated in a minute, um, just have a go. Don't worry about what you're learning, uh, what you're doing. Uh, the information is going in. And I'm under the impression Tom's video in it, so you can have a go later. Uh, so, Miggy Sanchez Dutch. Oi! Hey, come on up. Sir! Sure. Right arm, Joe Danuki. Your right arm is going to do the three blocks. Joe Danuki, Uchuke, get Ambra. Left arm is going to do the three punches. Joe Dan, Chudan, get up. So, Joe Danuki, right arm, Uch. Joe Dan, punch. With the left arm. Knee. Back arm does the block. Junanuchuke. Age. And you feel your body already wanting to come out because you got the punch. Knee. Get under eye. Back arm. Sun. Punch. Shi. Back arm blocks. Joda. Etch. Knee. Uchuke. Etch. Knee. Get umber eye. Sun. Now, can you feel this? Can you feel this? Are you gripping the floor with your toes? These are the things you need to feel. So, right arm does the block. Joe down. Left arm punch. Uch. Knee. Is your body in there? Shoulder. Sun. Have you come from the hand eye to the full turn? Back arm. And Joe down. Uch. Knee. Sun. Joe down, Uch. Shoe down, knee. Sun. Top is one, middle is two, bottom is three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whole thing, Uch. Knee. Sun. So back with the right leg. Block with the left arm. Uch. Joe down, gap, escape. Knee. Back arm, which you get. Uch. 
knee. Get on right. Sun. Chi. Joe down. Let's. Knee. Body. Sun. Body. Let's. Knee. Sun. Let's. Knee. Sun. All three. Let's. Knee. Sun. Step forwards. Jordan, okay? Jordan Yakovsky. Let's step back. Which you can knee. Step forward, sun. Step back. Let's knee. Sun. Let's knee. Sun. A little faster. Now I'm going to watch you. Right, let's go. Ready? I'm dying to. I've not done this. Right, so let's go. Ready? Forward. Etch. Knee back. Sun forwards. Etch. Knee. Sun. Step forwards. Hutch, Joda. Backwards. Knee, Chuda. Sun forwards. Get up. Backwards. Hutch. Forwards. Knee. Backwards. Sun. Forwards, etch, backwards, knee, sun. So you're only going forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards, forwards. Let's go. Ready? Etch, one, two, three. Knee, one, two, three. Sun, one, two, three. Chi, one, two, three. Go one, two, three, one more. Rock it one, two, three. Hey, hold it. Hey, yes, mate. Now, some of you are probably having a few problems. Uh, again, don't lose sleep over it. But when you move forwards, you're stepping into something, you're moving backwards. Don't go from there, forwards, backwards, forwards. Close your eyes. Ready? And I'll tell you when to open them. Open them. Did I move forwards or backwards? Close your eyes. Did I move forwards or backwards? One more. Close your eyes. Did I move forwards? Open up. Did I move forwards or backwards? You don't want forwards to look like this and backwards to look like this. Even when you're moving backwards, you still feel forwards. When you're forwards easy. When you're going backwards, you must still be traveling forwards. Hey, ask awesome. it. Shifts up nice and loose. Because we're going to be moving in a moment. So, targets. Uh, the Chushin Sim, sideline, is where the major vital points are. Jinku, just right underneath your nose. What I want you to do, take your index finger, 
and press directly backwards onto the little channel just below your nose. Press directly backwards. Now press a little harder, and now a little harder, and relax. It's not incredibly painful, is it? This time, I want you to put your finger on your, underneath your nose. Instead of going straight back, I want you to try and come back at about 45 degrees. So now you're doing that with your finger, but you're not moving your finger. So from there, push back and up, not too hard. So go. Now push back and hard more. One more, Sam. There you go. How many didn't move their head? Same spot, but a different direction creates more pain. When you're attacking to the vital points, most of these are direct. When you're coming down the side, most of these major points, the low kick on and the arm, armpit, these are direct shots. But there are some way on the wrist where you need to uh, vibrate, and there's some in the forearm, you need to push back. Um, we'll discuss them another day. But the target points that we want are usually where two nerves cross. And we hit it where the two nerves cross. This is the dead leg and the forearm here. Um, so no matter where his arm is, the spot don't move. And it's about two or three fingers down from the gi hinge, from the gi um, seam. And when you take the distance from the shoulder to the damaging point, it relates very much to the hip. To the low kick. Your arms are like your legs. The weak points are in virtually the same places. We have dodgy ankles, you have dodgy wrists. You have dodgy toes, you have dodgy fingers. You have impact points, you have impact points. You try and take the elbow the wrong way and the wrist the wrong way, take the knee the wrong way, get the foot the wrong way. It's all very, very similar. But you know what you're hitting. Know what you're hitting with. Know where you're hitting. No good punching here for the blokes. Absolutely no point whatsoever. The guy does thousands of bench presses and builds all his pecs up. But the sternum, much more painful. So the plexus, we do loads and loads of sit-ups. But at the bottom of the sternum here, the xiphoid process, just below that is a little button in there. <laughs> and that's when you hit one of the buttons. Not in the big muscle, but just above the button. Gedan wants to be just below the belt knot. In some cases, just above the belt knot, depends where they got the belt knot. But uh, the navel there, about three fingers down from the navel, inside is the tandem. And just a little bit lower than that, you're punching downwards. If you get hit in the head, the head's very strong, head's made of bone. And when you get hit in the head, the whole thing gets knocked backwards. And so you naturally ride the punch to some degree. Hit them in the upper body, same thing. You knock them backwards. So to some degree, they naturally ride the punch. But hit them here, just above the belt knot. It goes straight into the legs. You can't ride it, and it hurts an awful amount. So descending punches. Sternum, don't go straight. Go over the top of the guard. <clears throat> Into the sternum, descend the punch. You're coming onto the arm here. Don't hit it square, hit it slightly descending. Hurts much more. Into the leg, don't knock it straight across, slightly descending all the time. So, so what you're hitting with, shin, Seiken, Sto, Hijate, Chusoku, Kakato, Sokotu. And know where you're hitting to. Not just any old web. That's getting back to the dartboard and just chucking darts at it, hoping to get good. Pick a target. Bottom of the hook on the, kan on the kanji was always mine. 
and down into the heart, down, 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 all the time. Um, here, uh, the liver shock. How weird is that? It's the easy one. It's the open bit. So the odds are it's going to cover down. So if it's going to cover down, look what's been left on the top. Ribs, not muscle, ribs. Arm too close to the body, take the arm. So you're going in for one, bang. Take two, not one, two, but one, two. So I'm just going to run through a few movements. Uh, oyashi, okoriashi, muyashi, etc. And adding together all of what we've been going through so far. Body movement. Relax. Point of impact. Try to uh, tense a little bit. Some years ago, um, I've done some Tai Chi, I've done some Japanese archery, I've done Aikido, I've done a few little bits and bobs. Um, and many people were fascinated with this uh, Bruce Lee one inch punch rubbish. Uh, and because it wasn't particularly uh, well known about, because at that particular point, uh, a lot of the Americans have been trained in Japan after the war. They, they left the, Japan as the green belts, all of a sudden they're fifth downs when they get back home to America. Um, knowing not a lot of stuff. In the next 45 years, loads more information was, was discovered. But point of impact, and then lock the whole lot up, bah! is so much more powerful than just sticking an arm out. And now you see brakes, which is not difficult to do, where the guy puts his hand on the brake and then bah, knocks them through. It's not hard. If you coordinate with lots of other bits and bobs, not just your arm, you have to drop your weight, your breath, loads of things. But that, boom, 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 is what you need when you want to punch, not just stick a limb out. So, just make sure you've got room for about three steps forwards. If you haven't got room for three forwards, two or one, doesn't matter. Kumite no kamai. Oi, fighting posture. Hey, Kumite. Oi, ashi. Oi, oi, ski, front arm. Oi, ashi, oi, foot, front foot. Front foot moves. Don't make it unnatural. Excuse me. <laughs> it's not unnatural. Don't make it a foot. Make it a shift of body forwards. So let's go. Ready? So just keep your cover up. Right. So urge. Draw the back foot. So in a hundred stances time, it's the same. You can see my back foot. Would you want to try to attack the inside of my back leg? To stop it, you end up with a knee right across your shin and you really wouldn't like me. But if I'm here, look where my foot is. Now somebody gets into here, I roll backwards, my ankle hurts, I've got no balance whatsoever, my foot I can't do anything with. Look what happens to my front foot. Bang. Sweep. So always have your back foot heel further back than your toes. Very similar to a, a hand zen kutsu, actually half zen kutsu, but not as well. Front foot. Pull the back foot. Sink your weight as you move. Lift your weight, sink your weight. Lift your weight, sink your weight. Moving backwards now, oyashi. The direction that you're going is the foot that moves. Don't be lazy with this one and go one and leave it hanging around and straightening. It wants to come back in very close to being the shape that it was. Knee, you draw. Sun, draw. Imagine somebody's going to locate this. She, you'd get it right out of the way and not just go to here. And then have your weight on it, push. Backwards again, oyashi. One more, oyashi. Oyashi. Three, 
Feel your whole body going like it doesn't want to stop. You're now in the, in the car, the engine's revving, it's in gear, but you've got the clutch in. Drop the clutch, knee, woof, off you go. So, you're ready to go now, you're in the starting blocks, you're ready to go. In the sprinters, you're ready to go forward. Here, you have to be ready to go forwards or back. So I'm now ready to go backwards. Ach. Knee. Set. Change legs. I'm set. Front leg. Ach. Knee. Sun. Did at any point during there, you may have not been moving, but did you stop? And backwards. Ach. Knee. Sun. So it's the balls of your feet that are dragging, not your heels. Change legs. I'm set. Three forwards, three back. Ach. Knee. Sun. Push it up. Ach. Knee. Sun. And set. Ach. Knee. Sun. Push it up. Ach. Knee. Sun. And set. Okuriashi. Oh. Front. Okuriashi means to step up and forwards. To step up and forwards. It can be a short movement, it can be a longer movement. Doesn't matter. It's why are you doing that? Do I need to get more range? Do I need to get just a bit of range? That's what this leg decides. I need lots of range. I don't need much range, but I need some. So, Okuriash. Back foot moves first. Knee. Sun. Okuriash. Front foot moves first. Oshiro. Backwards. Ach. Knee. Sun. Are you feeling like you're going to be forward over backwards? And up. All the time. This is pushing forward. Imagine somebody's got his hands on your chest. You're going to push them back. Have to not be pushed back, you're going back. Ach. Knee. Sun. Okay. Push it. At some point, I'll get a partner. Put hands on, the, on your chest, push them back. Ach. Knee. Sun. Leave their hands, move backwards. Ach. Knee. Sun. Okay. And when the guy is, girl, is the person is pushing you, at any point, you can take your hands off. So the guy's going to here before he's moved his feet, take your hands off. Whoa, stand the deck. These are your wheels. These are what move the car. These are the wheels. Ach. Knee. Sun. Ach. Knee, sun, zip, fumyash. We've got about 15 minutes and we're done. Fumyash to step through. Step through. Step through. And backwards, ach. Knee, sun. It's not walking. You've all seen hunters after prey. They don't just walk up to it. They stalk it. They stalk it. They stalk. The prey comes back to them. They can't run away because they still want to get it. So, fumiash. Step in forwards. Ach. Knee. Feel the hands on your chest. Sun. Feel the hands on your chest. Backwards, Ach. knee, sun, and finally, Corsa is to switch. We're not going to do a split switch, just a switch. 
Just turn it sideways. The way to think about it is you're going to get this leg kicked, get it out of the way, put the other one in. Get it out of the way, put the other one in. See how my center here hardly moves. Not one, two. One, two. I say virtually in the same place. Virtually in the same place. Corsa. Left leg forwards. Right, so, ach, knee. Really suck it out of the way. San. Chi. Go. And if you've never done a pinan so rich. One, two. You don't push off the leg. You suck it in. Same. Suck it in one. Suck it in one. Not to jump up in the air and land both feet. Anybody does that to you, kick them out either leg, they'll go over like a sack of potatoes. Don't jump up and switch legs. Get somebody bouncing, you go in with a huge reaping sweep that doesn't stop. Reap right the way through. So, put some punches on, three punches, all middle punch, just for a landing purpose on all of the moves. So, oyashi forwards, oyashi back, change legs, oyashi forwards, oyashi back, change legs. Let's go, ready? And again, take your feeling with you. Uch, ni, san, oshiro, oyashi, ni, san, change. Ach, knee, sun, backwards, ach, knee, punch forward, sun, change, okuriash, stepping up, front hand, ach, did you feel your weight go? Did it stop? And then you start the punch. The important bit is impact. Then, not just walking forwards, stick an arm out. So, okuriash. Uh, if any of you ever get to fence, short fencing, I did fencing for about five years. Brilliant. It's like fighting with a four foot reach. Whoa, great stuff. But you can't go one, two. Whoa, you lunge. Same here. Lunging. Knee. Sun. Backwards, Aishi, push forwards. Knee, San, push forwards. And then, Ach, Knee, San, push it all, Ach, Knee, San, change, Fumiash, Ach, Knee, San, feel that mo coordination. Push it all, Ach, Knee, San. Corsa. As this half comes in, you punch in. Ach, bam. Knee, bam. Don't twist and then punch. Not this. Stay still. Not this. Change and punch. When the stance finishes, the fist is twisting. Boom. Together. Right, so ach, knee, zan, chi. Go, and all. Hey, hold it. Hey, that's nice. Shake your nice and loose. For about five minutes. Uh, so, they're the standard style of moves. Uh, and just one more I want to uh, let you have a taste with. You can practice. Direct line attack, coming straight at you. You're gonna collect it. So, move out the way. If you go to the left, your left leg goes first, and then your right leg. One, two. If you go to the right, your right leg moves first, and then your left. If I go to the right, 
my right leg moves first. Left, left leg moves first. And change. Oh, sorry, come on, come on. Come on, turn. Left. Touch. Right. Knee. It goes up. Right. Touch. Left. So it's not front foot or back foot, it's right and left. And it goes up, left, Ach. right, goes up, left, right, goes up, right, left. At no point do I cross my legs. So now it's called sabaki. Means you try and change direction. You put a couple of punches on it. So, left sabaki. Left leg goes first. Man, the opponent's in front of you here. They're coming in. Now, take your back leg through at about 45 degrees. And your front arm's going to punch as you rotate into the posture. Bang, bang. Back to the middle. Left leg, right leg, left hand, right hand. To the left. Aichi. Back. Knee. Back. Sun. Back. Chi. Back. One more. Go. So make sure you turn completely off. Back. It goes up. Right, right leg moves. Left goes here somewhere. Now I've not crossed, the only reason, it, it looked like I've crossed my legs. I've not crossed my legs because my opponent is here. So I've not crossed my leg, he's not here. He's here, and as I rotate, bang, bang. And back to the front again. Right leg, left leg sweeps through. As that leg sweeps through, this will turn the upper body. Bang, bang. Let's go. Ready? One, two, and back. Knee, and back. Sun, and back. Chi, back. One more. Go, and back. There you go, hold it. There you go, mate. So, if you wanted, you can add and make your own little combination up by uh, introducing all of those. And one way of doing it is not just forwards in, uh, we'll do it together. Hey, come on, come on, all right? Hey, come on, turn, let's go. Make sure you've got a bit of room. Because how many steps have you got? One, two, three, Corsa, four, Taisabaki, five. So, Oyashi, one, Ukuriashi, two, Fumiashi, three, Corsa, four. Tai Sabaki, five. And back. Moving back. So, left leg forwards. We're keeping this safe. You just change legs as and when afterwards when you're giving a practice. Just get the idea. That's itch. Knee. Sun. Sheep, go. Go ahead, go back. Ach, knee, sun, sheep, go. Back. On your own, ready? Ach, knee, sun, sheep, go. Back. 
again. And you might. One, two, three, four, five. And scoot back. Now, when you scooted back, did you just go like this? You're in a gi. You're doing fighting combinations. You don't know what you're doing. When you get to scooch back, you scooch back in a fighting come on. Always, every single time. Get used to it. Don't ever waddle backwards. Right again, ready? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And back. Ach. This is all called, this is all about Zanshin, awareness of your surroundings. You're not just moving up down your front room, sticking a hand out. There's a nine foot guy there, got two knives, five guns, and six mates waiting outside. You better be alert, you better be aware. Remember, if it was, you better have a pair of training shoes and you're running off that way. So, be, be aware, Zanshin is a, an awareness. So, so I used to say it's like taking a picture with a camera. Take a picture of a bird, but you also get the picture behind him, at the side of him, above him, the other side, the ground. So don't just look at the one thing. Miyamoto Musashi was talking to his student, an old Japanese swordsman. And he's on in autumn time when he was in the woods. And uh, Musashi said to him, What do you think? He said, come on, look at that really, really nice red leaf over there. Went and picked it up, brought it back to show Masashi. He said, yeah, very nice. Thank you. What about all the brown ones? Hardly noticed everything else. One thing caught his attention, and he missed everything else. Don't fall into that trap. Watch his hands too much. You're going to get kicked. Watch his feet too much, you're gonna get punched. Watch him bouncing around, why ain't you getting out of the way? Don't be taken in by uh, a small thing. You must see the whole thing, Zanshi, peripheral vision. Hey, hold it, hey, that's my chip, that's nice and loose. Right, a couple of minutes, are we done? Uh, just a couple of training ideas for you. Uh, How many stances are there in Taikyoku Sonoichi? How many stances? And we've worked out how many stances there are. We work out how many left foot forwards and how many right foot forwards. Now there's 20 stances, and it feels like it's 10 and 10. There isn't. How many punches are in Taikyoku Sonoich? And once you've worked that out, you think there's six and six. It isn't. Look at how many blocks there are. And you think there's the same amount of left handed blocks as there are right handed blocks. They're not the same. Not the same at all. But for some of you to work out and think about it, that's why you do Taikyoku Sonorix one way, for your katas, for your kion, for your grading. But if you do it the other way, then you find that you practice the same amount on each arm and the same amount of stances. If you do two kata, or one way, one the other. Taku Sonovich. Pinang Ni. Sushi Ho on the wrong leg. Don't get tied up in the pattern. Get tied up in what the pattern is about. So, you're going to do Taikyoku Sonovich. And you first, you, how many of you look around and ain't got room? You don't need room. Because you can do it all in Sanshindachi. So, right. so you normally turn to your left, get on the right. You just turn to the left, sanction that to get on the right. 
Step forward and punch. Knee. Front foot forward back. Sun. Step forward and punch. Shi. Turn to the front. Go. Go. Shi. Punch. That will be your key eye. Now you do a big three quarter turn. Punch. Edge. Pulling back. Punch. Edge. Punch. Punch. Knee. Sun. Key eye. Big three quarter turn. Edge. Punch. Edge. Edge. Hold it. And so you did technique, strike us on each. It's about two less than two square meters. You don't need a whole cricket pitch to get the pattern and the techniques. But say, for instance, you wanted to change because Samson's a short posture. And you want to bring a little bit of fighting into it. So now you turn to the left, Sanchindachi, right arm, Judan Sotuki. So it's Yaku. Step forwards, Shtaski, because you're going forwards. This leg pulled back, this arm Sotuki. Step forward, edge. The front, edge. Edge, edge, edge. Big turn, edge. Edge. Pull it back. Think about which arm has to block to make it yaku. Edge, edge. Think about which arm has to block to make it yaku. Ach, 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 ach. Think about which arm has to block to make it yaku. Ach, ach. Think about it. Ach, ach. Please hold it. So, you've got the Endusen, the shape of Tai Sonovich. You can use that shape because you're familiar with the shape to do whatever you like. So, instead of three up, turn, three back, turn, three up, turn, three back, turn. And by then, the guy's thinking about way up for breakfast. But they're always going to have a beer afterwards. You must keep the mind alert. So don't make it boring. Involve the mind. Sanchin will cut up. Three battles. The body, the heart, and the mind. You must involve the body, the spirit, and the mind. Not always just to think about what you're doing, but to keep it engaged in what you're doing. That's the drastically important part. So you can do Sanchino, Sanchin Dachi, Taiko Sonich, or you can make it into a fighting posture, or even do it in a fighting posture. Bang, 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 bang. Doesn't matter. Practice. And in these days, we're having to practice a lot on our own. Invent stuff. Somebody invented the kata for you to do. Have you got it in you to invent a kata that somebody else will be doing in 100 years' time? Somebody else 100 years ago did. So, doesn't just stop you using your noddle and thinking about what you're thinking about. And that's just about me. Uh, sort of finished about a quarter of an hour, but never mind. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for your attention. And for those that are still watching, I um, hope to see you again in the future.
Don't worry, I told you. Don't worry, I got you.